we're back in Midland, Texas, where we were about a year ago. This won't be your normal barn find hunter episode. It was just a year ago. We were in this yard in Midland, Texas, looking at this field of pretty solid cars. And, and, and I actually really fell in love with this one. And I kept on going back to that wagon and there was something solid about it. You know, ha having spent time buffing out this little piece of the fender, then having spent time buffing out the complete front fender, this car was talking to me. I couldn't get out of my mind. And we decided we'll just make a project car out of this. Well, let's, let's, show, let's show these people what, what this has turned into. about to leave Midland, Texas now. It's been a wonderful adventure. Why did we choose Midland, Texas? Well, it's just because I've had a lifelong fascination with Chaparral race cars. This little town that's seven miles by seven miles produced some of the most amazing race cars in the world. I, I encourage you to go uh, on uh, the internet and, and put in Chaparral race cars built by a guy named Jim Hall. They were built in this little town aerodynamics, ground sucker cars, amazing engines, built right in this little town. It ran the Can-Am series back in the 60s. But now we're about to leave, we're probably at the city limits right now. So we'll say goodbye to Midland. I don't know if we'll ever be back. But I have to say that over four years of barn find hunting on this series, this is the first time we've got to live kind of the talk the talk and walk the walk, not just walk through a guy's collection of old junk and say, that's good, that's good. But we picked a car that we said, that car's got good bones in it and we wound up making a project car out of it over the course of a year with a lot of uh, volunteer help and some people donating parts and we built this car from a shell that was ready for the literally for the scrap heap and we're driving it we're going to drive it probably six or seven hundred miles into Kansas and we're going to donate it to a good cause and you'll be along for the ride. Lubbock, Texas, driving towards Kansas, and we passed this yard, and it's a Sunday afternoon, so it's not the easiest day to find somebody around old cars, but Mike was mowing his lawn, so we caught him at the right time, and he's got cars here that you say they're all for sale. Yes. They belong to your girlfriend. Uh-huh. And how much are they? $500 a piece. $500 a piece. So keep that in mind as we look at these cars. So if you notice some similarities, here's a four-door wagon, here's a four-door sedan, but they came probably off the same assembly line. Uh, this one was sold in Morton, Texas by McCoy Ford Sales. As we know, this one comes from Dub Burns in New Mexico. But I wonder if, if there's any parts on here we need. <laughs> so that's a three on the tree. I don't know what kind of motor it's got. It doesn't have a 390 because it doesn't have an emblem on it. So we'll just work our way down some of these cars here. So our wagon, if you remember from episode 34, didn't look very different than that car right there, country sedan. That's a 55 or a 56, I guess. You know, it looks rough, that quarter panel's rough, but wagons are hard to get these days. This has still got a Y block in it, which is like a, probably a 252, something like that. So it's got no grill, no hood, but otherwise it looks complete, no windshield, you know? But for, this is $500. So this, let's see what the other side looks like. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is a good starting point for a wagon project. 
not very different than that wagon was a year ago. I'll repeat that again and again. That's a big block Chevy, 454. I mean, so what do you do with these things? That one's, I mean, that needs, that needs body work. Too bad about this rust. I didn't think things rusted in Texas. Well, kind of depends what part of Texas they come from. All right, so here we have a fair lane. Looks like a 64 fair lane. It's got a 260 V8 automatic. It's a four door. So the 260 was the predecessor to the uh, 289. First Ford built a 221, then a 260, and ultimately a 289. This is a five bolt bell housing, and it was the first motor available in a Cobra, believe it or not, AC Cobra. 500 bucks, complete with hubcaps. Here's a first generation Corvair, 500 bucks. All right, so if I had $500 in my pocket right now, which one would I buy? Probably that Fairlane, V8. It's a four-door, but it's solid and looks complete. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd pay $500 for that car. Well, Mike, you can go back to your lawn mowing now. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, guys. Thanks for being here on a Sunday. No problem. <laughs> We're just leaving Mike in Lubbock, Texas, who had a bunch of cars scattered around. And I have to say that some of them had more rust than I would like. However, now that I'm out of there, I'm thinking about, if those cars were on the East Coast and they were 50 and 60 years old, they'd have much more rust than that. So, 500 bucks a piece, there's some deals over there. Don't, don't discount that place. We just visited Mike on the, let's see, the east side of the highway and as we were looping around to go back to Mike's we saw another place on the west side of the highway so we're going back there now it looked like they had some Chevelles maybe a GTO maybe a Judge I mean it's my imagination but I saw an orange Pontiac back there so I'm saying it's a Judge so we'll see if anybody's home Sunday afternoon is tough we'll see oh there's old cars inside here yeah, like that So it would be great if this guy says, you're the barn find hunter, come on in. It's worked before. So we're driving this Ford station wagon, northbound on 87 in Lubbock. And I turn over this side and I said, this orange GTO back there, that could be a judge. So make a big loop, come back here, walk in the shop. I meet a man named Rick and Rick says, if you want to buy any cars, get out of here because I don't sell any cars. I don't want to buy anything. I just want to look. He said, all right, come on back. So, Rick, thanks, thanks for not kicking me out. Okay. And I look forward to seeing what you've got back here. Okay. Let's start. There you go. Let's start with the stuff outside, I guess. Okay. This is kind of my daily driver. Yep, yep. Too nice. Too nice. So, 69? Yeah, uh, no, this is actually a 72. Oh, 72. Yeah, the 60. Is that a parts car or is that restored? I, I got that one. No, no, no. I've got, I've got several others. Yep. So we bought it basically because we, I wanted the positive. It's got a positive rear end. That's why we bought it. Well, otherwise, it's a Plus, part, extra parts car. Yeah, it's a parts car. Now, what about this Pontiac back here? The Trans Am? Yep. Yeah, the Trans Am actually it belonged to my brother who lived in Oklahoma and he was driving to El Paso, moving over there. Really? And, and he said, uh, You like it? I said, Yeah. He said, You want it? And I said, Yeah. So we made a deal and I. It never got to El Paso. I ended up here, and that's here's where. So how long has it been sitting here? Oh, probably about at least seven or eight years, at least. Fifty-six Ford cab over. Fifty-six. So this would have a Y block in it. Ah, motor still in there? Oh yeah, Great. yeah. The tree hit it, so as part of the deal, we got a new, we got a, a roof and another hood to restore this. Yeah, it's it's talk about as original as a. Oh man. Yeah. So you you put this like a late model engine in there? We will when the time comes. I mean, this is the cat's meow for a hot rodder. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's why I got it. Would you make a hauler out of it, like a flatbed? That's head? definitely, yeah, that was the plan, that was the plan.
Can I open the hood? Sure. If you can open it. Oh, okay. No, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Like I said, if you can open it. So it's probably like a 272 and it's a two barrel. Holly. Holly, that's the, that was the coolest part about it. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah, for a so, hot rodder, you're just like, oh, this is too cool. So the Y block, mm -hmm. the stock exhaust manifolds, had outlets up here, and there was a crossover pipe between mm -hmm. the two, exactly. equalized the cylinder. Exactly. Huh. Exactly. And so what will you do with this? Oh, it, it, this, the, uh, the long run is, is it would be to put it on, on a different frame and use it to haul cars. Like get a dually frame or something? Yeah. Yeah, dually frame, low on the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Air suspension? No, I'm not. That's too modern for me. Okay. All right, well, we've been doing this program now for four years, and we've yet to find a judge. Now, tell me this is not a real judge. It's a real judge. It's a real judge. Yep. Holy crap. Man. Carousel red, uh, four-speed, white interior. Uh, and I'd heard rumors, you know, about this car being in Lubbock for many years. Really? And, and nobody... You kind of, you know, you hear about it, but nobody's ever seen it. Nobody has ever. And then I got a call, and this guy said he, the guy that owned it, uh, was hired him to start it up and get it going, because uh, he and his son were supposed to build it, and so it was right around Thanksgiving. And he said, "I'm too old, so I'm going to tell my son, and if he doesn't want the car, it's for sale." So the guy called me and he said, "The kid didn't want the car, so it's yours." And I said, "Okay." So it's a so four-speed, or was it four hundred? Four, oh yeah, oh yeah. 400 four speed. Yeah. Yeah. And so it looks like it was a white fender to white hood. No, no, that's a primer. That's a primer. Yeah. So yeah. Th this is original paint on here. Yeah. Wow. That's what that's why this is this I've got one that's going to be a perfect car. This one is going to be like you know, when you find it and then the other one's going to be the shiny one. So, you know, I just got the matching set. So, how long have you had this? I've probably had this one about 5 6 years now. So these are, are these original decals on there? How many miles are on? I don't know. I, it's, it's been a while. You know, when you first get it, you really jump all over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And, then uh, and then you go to the next one. So listen, here's what the odometer says. 00002.4. Ha! <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. So can I open the hood? Sure. You, you got to hold it. You gotta close it, and then when you pop it up, oh, okay, there, no, 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 you gotta do okay. it, and then just hold it down, and then when it pops up, uh, yeah, uh, uh, it's stuck. Oh well, but I can we guarantee you, we tried. It, it's got a motor in there. Okay, I believe it. it's just it's a six cylinder. I know what it is. Oh no, <laughs> no, no, I drove it. I drove it. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. Runs well. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, that's a first. You know, we should do a Haggerty uh, appraisal on this. So this is the first judge we've found on Barn Fine Hunter, so I feel pretty privileged. So if we go to the ha Haggerty Valuation Guide, to tell you what this car might be worth, in number four condition, which is fair, which they say is a daily driver, this is not a daily driver, is $38,900. And this is a, uh, a 400 cubic inch, 366 horsepower, four barrel Ram Air 3 car. So it's a factory four speed. So if, if in fair condition, it's worth uh, 38.9. In good condition, uh, 56,000. In excellent condition, $92,000. And in Concours, $127,000 what this car uh, would sell for. Now, Haggerty has the average price for one of these cars across the board at $56,000. So certainly one of the more valuable cars were found on this series, and one of the more valuable muscle cars were found on this series. So I, we're lucky to have found this. And uh, oh, I'll just remind you two things. Number one, Rick said this car is not for sale. And number two, Rick said this car is not for sale. All right, so we have more Kragers here. You are a Krager oh, guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is like a little red wagon. Yeah. Is it a V8? No, no. Well, the little red wagon was a Dodge. This is the Ford version. I know, I know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, I've got the little red wagon at the other shop. Oh, you have a Dodge? Yeah. So this is, I think, a Falcon Econline. Didn't they call it that? Mm -hmm. Six cylinder, th three on the tree? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and this is a five window. This was really cool because oh, a friend yeah. of mine had it. I didn't even know it. And then uh, he sold it to me. And then when I went back up there, I talked to this other guy because I had another, I've got another one of these. 
and the guy that he knew more than I did, he said, "Is it a five window or three window?" And I said, uh, "I didn't even see. You know, I, it was in the car. Yeah, I yeah, bought yeah, it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I went over and I talked to Joe and I said, "Joe, yours is a five window." And he said, "What does that mean?" And I said, "That's that's a rare one." So we got to renegotiate. No, no, it's a done deal. And we, uh, he was a man of his word. I, I didn't worry about Joe. Now that one over there, the red one, the Camaro. Yeah. Now that one is a real seventy Z twenty eight. A seventy Z twenty eight. So yeah. 70s have a 302 or a 350? 350. They didn't, they, yeah. 69 was a 302. Yeah, okay. You know, but that's a real Z. Is it real? Yeah. No, I mean, the, the world loves 69 and 70 Camaros. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. All right, so then over here we got Mustang number one. Yeah. And what's, again, stylized wheels. You're unbelievable. Yeah, well, actually, we're going to take those wheels off because I've got that, the charger, you know. Magnum 500s need to be on a charger, so we're taking those off and putting them on the charger. Same bolt pattern. Yeah, exactly. All right, so this building looks pretty appetizing here. Is, is there anything in there? <laughs> yeah, you're not going to believe this one. Nobody okay. believes it. Really? Come on in. So you don't give tours here very often, I bet. Oh, no, I run everybody off. I run everybody off. Wow. Jeez. And this thing's been sitting here for how long? Oh, it's been sitting here for a while. Because we, we, I've got another one. We're working on the other one right now. Oh, man, this thing looks solid as a rock. Oh, it is. Jeez. It is. Very nice. Yeah. So is this going to be hot rodded or restored? No, 57s, you don't hot rod. You know, convertibles, you don't. So you know, this, this is going to go back more or less original. It'll probably have mag wheels and stuff. But it's got the little 283. We got a 283 in there. Uh, the problem is I got ahead of myself. I got so excited about this one. I did the firewall, started putting all the chrome and everything. And it was like I was doing it uh, the wrong way. And I said, no, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to end up yeah, with a piece yeah, of junk. Yeah, yeah. So I stopped and I said, when I, when I get serious about it, you know, I'll pull this one back out and start working on it. So it's a 283 and it looks like it had a, a standard transmission. Mm -hmm. So it's three on a tree. Mm -hmm. 283s, they're such a good motor. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and this is, and you can tell, you know, that the motor because of the, the where you put the oil and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, we didn't even bother about checking. Is this the hood sure. scoop? No, no. <laughs> it's custom. It ain't that custom. Wow. It's not that custom. That's sweet. So you, you yeah. detailed, painted all yeah, the... Yeah, I know. I know. And then and it was like, still got to do a lot of body work in the back. And yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. thought, no, I just got too excited, you know. So how long have you owned this? Oh, I've owned this one for about 20, 25 years. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's I, I can't ever finish anything because as soon as I get, I'm start up on something and somebody will call me and... I got and a car, car will pop up, and, and it's just like... I have, you know. I, I, I have a rule. I don't start another car until I finish one. Oh, I'd never finish anything. <laughs> I, you know, too many cars show up, you know. And, yeah, yeah. And, and, but I've got enough that at this point in time, I kind of feel like it's time for other people to get some. So, I, I, you know, I'm not a really... I'm not a hoarder. You know, I've got my 57 convertible. Somebody That's, else can get the next one. It's fine with me. i got yeah. no problem with it. I just walked by this uh, Oldsmobile. I mean, I assumed... It was some kind of cut supreme or something. Correct. But then there was these four little digits that stuck, uh, struck out of me here. Uh, and those digits are 442. Yeah. That's a true 442. So tell me about, tell me about this car. It's a 72. Uh, I actually got a call. The guy had a 71 and an orange one with a white top. And so I went to go look at that one. And he actually had two of them. And he knew the orange one because he said he knew a guy from high school when they bought it for him. So he'd been, he'd been, he knew about the car all the way through. He bought that one to restore it with his son. His son didn't want to restore it. So he said, you know, I can't wait for my grandson. So he was going to sell the orange one. And this one was facing one way. When we went in the door in the, in the barn, the 442 with the wing was the other way. So, uh, so he said, what do you think about it? And I said, oh, the orange, uh, forget about the orange one. I'm already thinking about taking both of them. And so he said, okay, I'll make you a deal. So I ended up with both of them, an orange one and this blue one. So is that the, uh, his and her shifter? It is, okay. Ha, huh, jeez. Now, is this still a solid car? I mean, to me, oh, yeah. with the windshield out and stuff, yeah. it looks like... I mean, yeah, no, in Texas, it, I mean, now, nowadays, all this stuff can be redone. I mean, that, you know, when we were doing the media blast, you know, you got to get a good guy that knows how to weld and stuff, but all the body panels are available now. Wow. You know, when, when I was, when I started, you had to buy a cutlass and cut all the stuff out oh, to yeah, put it. Yeah. Now you can order everything. So you've had this for how long? I probably had this one about eight or nine years. So is that like a 400 in here? Let's see if I can open this hood. I tried the other one over there again. I couldn't do it. Well, that's, that's the judge. That, you know, we don't, we don't want anybody opening that hood anyway. That's original as it gets. Boy, look at that. 
air cleaners on there and everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably a 400. Wow. Yeah, the other one was the one I was interested. This one, I, you know, it, it's just cool to have two of them. So you say you got more stuff in that building? Yeah, come on in. All right. Oh, another 57. Uh, that's, that's the one. That's really my big time project right now. Let me turn on the light. So they got a big block in there, 427? No, 454. 454. Wow. And what kind of front end is that? Is that uh, like it, a Speedway Motors? No, 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 no. This is, an, oh yeah, this is, an ah. original, this is an original deal. Man, You know, when we used to take school. them off the econo lines and put them on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is old school, man. Yeah, that, that's how we do it. The, so what else that, we got here? This is an original 69Z28 Camaro. Oh. This is the real deal. So what is that, the DZ code? Yeah. So this is a restoration? Uh, yeah, kind of. It, it's, uh, my, my, I've got my, one of my sons is uh, always liked Camaros. And so I'm going to, I've actually got a 69 Camaro convertible that I've done. And that one, you know, I, I got through with it and it's a black, except instead of white stripes, I put gold stripes because I just liked them better. And so I want him to have that one, but I want to build him a Z28. So what's going on here? Let's see. It, this is a 33 Ford. So is that a, a Mopar engine? Yeah, yeah. It's like a 3 a 440 or something? <laughs> yeah, nobody knows about it. it yeah, well, I'm looking at the distributor, yeah. and it can't be GM. Yeah, yeah, and it can't be Ford because yeah. it's not an angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Wow. And so uh, it, it's a fast little car. Is it's, a torque flight in there? Yeah, it's a fast little car. We, we had a lot of fun in it. This is a 29 Shea. It, it's actually a, a Ford made these fiberglass. It's kind of a reproduction. I know. It had the Pinto yeah. motor in it? Yeah. So these were cars uh, that you could bought through a Ford dealership, and they had new car warranties. Exactly. So you, if you bought this, it basically yeah. had a Pinto drivetrain in it, and Ford would warranty these cars. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. This is what I love to do. Is that right? Yeah. Jeez. Now, right, here's your last chance to take no, us to the big building. Here's your uh, last uh, chance. It'll never come around again. Yeah. You wouldn't, well, you wouldn't be able to get into my, the building at my house because I got so much stuff in there. But the building at my house, that's where the good, good stuff is. I mean, it's up to you. Like, you already ruined, already my, ruined, 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 already ruined my afternoon. <laughs> there goes my gas or that was going to be riding. All right, there. is it a deal? Yeah, we'll go with it. All right. Now, this is where I'm wrong, see? I said you can't find cars on Sundays, but this is the second this afternoon, on a Sunday afternoon, that we found guys at commercial establishments now we're going to his house to see some more cars he's got. So we're at part two of uh, Rick's wonderful, uh, excellent car adventure. You see, oh, this, this, is, this is pretty darn good. Yeah, I, I thought for your kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, that, that was the parts car I bought. I mean, that's a restoration project. Or... Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a complete car. No motor transmission, but other than that, it's, it's everything's there. And the trunk was full of parts. Brand so new stuff. This was original, still had a column shift. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, 57 Tudor hardtop. So they, they made one like this, it was a Mark Donahue edition. That is a Mark Donahue edition. Is it really? Yeah. A Cushman, okay, with mag wheels, of course. Of course. <laughs> Because if it doesn't have mag wheels, then it, it doesn't belong on my property. So, of course, there's mag wheels in here. Of course. Of course. So here we have a 57 Nomad. So is this the first? No, we've found a couple of Nomads in North Carolina. So this is a 57. It looks like it was painted copper more recently. Yeah. But I'd say it was originally like a turquoise. turquoise. Okay, so 55 convertible. This is the second one we've seen today. Yeah. One was at your shop and this one. I think this is the one that the guy called me and said, do you want a 55 instead of a 57? I said, I guess. I guess. So he brought it over and we, we made a deal on it. So a 57 vet. Mm -hmm. I think this is a 58. Yeah. It's, uh, this is dual headlights. And, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is a 58. Uh, That's the rarest car I've got right there. The white one. Don't tell me what it is. Well, it's a charger. No. No? It's got an oil cooler in the front. Look at the front fenders. Look, look at what's on top of the front fenders. It's a Superbird? Yeah. You got the wing for it? Yeah, the, the original aluminum wing. Yeah, I got it. Wow. Hi, horsies. A guy had it. He took it to a, a painting body guy, and it lasted there forever. And then the, the, guy said, the, the guy's wife called him and said, come pick up your car, because he went out of business. He went over there. They had stolen the motor and transmission out of it. What, what and they stole the hood. 
There's a 440. It took me forever. That car, nobody has ever figured out what it was. That's why I took the wing off. Nobody's ever stopped and said, is that a real Superbird? Never. No. See, and that one is a 1970 Boss. That's a Boss car? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah, it's a real Boss. So here's a 3334 Coupe? Yep. Actually, I bought this one before I bought the red one. Then about three weeks later, I bought the red one. So you got a three window and a five window. Correct. That's a rare car. Three oh, window, yeah. holy man. Yeah, it is. Well, this is pretty cool. Is there anything in here worth seeing? Yeah. Okay. There well, ain't no, uh, well if, if we're asked nicely, we'll go inside. <laughs> <laughs> there, you, yeah, you're gonna have, you're, you're gonna stumble over stuff. Oh, I like those kind of garages. No, you don't. You don't. You don't understand. I, I've got people that are collectors, and they they're like, I, I've never seen something like this. And I say, I know. And I'm the guy that owns it. All right, we gotta go now, boys. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Jeez. Wow. Cobra kit car. Cobra kit. Oh, you got to get the motorcycle. Easy rider. Not the real one, is no, it? No, 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 no. no. I've seen the real one, but no. I just want to soak all this in for a few minutes. This is my chopper. So you got a chop pickup truck back there with yeah. movers. Yeah. And there's another one back over there. Boy. And see the blue, the blue cover right there? Yeah. 37 Willis metal car. Not a coupe. A coupe. Wow. Man. Yeah. A metal Willys. Holy crap. So there's a, is that a Firebird Lamborghini over there? Yeah. It's the Fiero. Oh, they yeah. They made yeah. them out of Fiero. Oh, that's right, Fiero, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, and the wind, uh, you know. That's my Camaro uh, Corvette. And then that's my Pro Street 57 covered up. It's got the big white tires. That's my 55 gasser that I was building. Right next to it is another 55. That was a race car. The wheel wheel's been cut out and stuff. I bet you know where everything is in here. Yeah, and I know where I got it and I know when. So that, that chopped truck is like a 56? It's, uh, it's, only, it's the only Ford truck I like, the 56. It's chopped. It's got electric windows, electric doors. Back tires are about 22 inches wide. Uh, what motor? Uh, 350. It's, got a, it's actually got a Ford. Yeah. It's actually got a Ford. Um, Holy the Willis man. is there. There's a uh, right behind it. There's a uh, Barracuda. There's a Challenger back there. There's a 62, 64 Impala. There's a 60 Impala. Then there's a Chop Merc, 49 I Merc on the back. And then there's a 70. There's a uh, 70 uh, Charger RT. Back What's that there. convertible back there? Uh, which Be one? Behind the antique car. Behind that old sedan. The Corvair or something? No, oh, no, no, no. I don't have any Corvairs. Mustang? Oh, yeah. It's a 65 Mustang convertible. Yeah. I, I built that one for my son when he was in high school. Man. And uh, the Merc, you can kind of see the Merc. Yep, yep. And then there's a 60 Impala that's, that, I, that I've got back there. Two-door. And this right here, what, is this Chevelle convertible? No. This, this, this is, if, you, if, I, if I really, really came down to it, this is probably my favorite car of all the cars I own. This is dead, and I haven't, you know, I haven't driven it. Ah. Oh, it's my Blackwood baby. Gold 69 Camaro convertible. convertible. Very nice. Yeah, how the heck did you get all this mess? I don't know. Yeah. Well, Rick, thank you, man. It was an interesting like, you know, like, Thanks for allowing us to come in your door and, and, and explain what we do, because yeah. you would have just kicked us the hell out. So. Oh, I, I did, but you didn't go. But, but, yeah. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, you don't get this much stuff unless you're persistent. No, this, so I know exactly what you mean. That's amazing. Yeah, and a lot of you know, people will, you know, some, you know, other people's junk is on somebody's treasure. And, so I just, I just want to tell viewers, okay? Rick looks like a regular guy. He, he lives right. in a regular house. Yeah. You can't see any of this from the road. Yeah. But 100 feet in, you're in a, in, in a heaven of, of muscle car parks <laughs> here. It's just amazing. Yeah. Who would imagine this building? I mean, I see donkeys. I thought this was donkeys going to be in here. Yeah. Well, you have horses in there. It's horsepower. Mm -hmm. So listen, man. Thanks. Okay. Oh, what a blast. Okay. It's Next been... time you're around, there'll probably be more stuff. Come on uh, by. You're welcome. Thank you. Just don't ask if anything's for sale. I, I didn't. <laughs> you did I won't. No. You know, when my grandkids were little, they, they'd come over here. Grandpa, you got a lot of junk now that they're older. Grandpa, you got a lot of cool stuff. This is our 27th state that we've found an old car in. We don't find many of these. See, one leads to another. Oh, it's got a four-speed in it. Oh, look at this. Holy mackerel. You got any compound in a rag? 
No, I'm only kidding. <laughs>